Is that nylon safe? We're not allowed to talk about that, but here's what I'm gonna do. I find that thousands of people are searching on Google to find out information. Is that not a safe place to live? And you can't find it anywhere for a very good reason because we're not allowed, especially licensed realtors, we're not allowed to discuss anything about neighborhood specific, anything about crimes. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of an ease and I will pinpoint you into the right direction where you can easily get that information on your own. Personally, when I moved to Staten Island, my son was transitioning from elementary school to junior high school. I did not want him to go to a public school in Brooklyn. I didn't want to pay for a private school. And I found myself that Staten Island was actually a lot different than living in Brooklyn. And what I found here was the public schools were better than in Brooklyn. I also found that the neighborhoods here were more closed in and I could let my son play outside without worrying about all these cars driving fast and trucks and all of these things. A lot of danger that we as parents feel. We want to protect our kids from different kind of accidents as much as we can. I will share some links with you that you can find a lot of the information on your own. Uh, just know we only have four precincts in Staten Island and I will share with you a slide. Take a look at the slide where it shows which neighborhoods each precinct is covering. So if you are considering specifically a neighborhood, you can directly go to that precinct and make it easy for you to find that information. I will share a website that I personally love myself, which is niche.com. There's a lot of information there. And I will also share neighborhood scout with you where you can also get information about a specific neighborhood. So let's jump in to take a look at that. Okay. I'm excited to show you how to use this. So one of the first ones that you can look at would be the neighborhood scout and in neighborhood scout, you can check crimes based on the neighborhoods. So you pick a neighborhood obviously, and then you, you can also check the demographics the schools, real estate, overview, but here's your crime statistics where you could, you could take a look at that. So Staten Island has four precincts. And if you look at the slide that I'm showing you about each precinct, which neighborhoods they cover, so you could pick by precinct, or you could look at the entire, entire Staten Island, and they do a weekly, they do it 28 days, a year to day, two years, 12 years, and even 29 years. So you have a lot of information here that you could definitely look at. But if you know of a specific area or neighborhood that you actually specifically want to check and you want to pick the precinct so you could definitely look specifically in each neighborhood right there so that's helpful and then one that i love to use the most and you should do too is niche.com and niche.com is a great website to get a lot more information on specific neighborhood. You can use it in, in other states and other cities. So, you know, you have crime rates. Well, we're looking at crime rates right now, but you also would have uh, things like schools, jobs, places uh, to hang out. Like, let's do real quick. I do a lot of these for you guys on other videos. You get a report card basically from niche.com. You will find all of these links right down below. You can just click on the link. It will take you straight to the website. I hope this video was very helpful to you. I hope it gave you some direction where you can easily find that information. Staten Island overall is beautiful. We have my favorite part about Staten Island. We have so many parks. I actually have some videos about certain neighborhoods that I was able to do so far. You're welcome to jump in and view those neighborhoods and see if there's anything there that you like and if it works for you. I also have a video about the pros and the cons about living on Staten Island. So that's something that I think you would benefit watching that video as well. Give this video a like, share with your friends who are also thinking about moving to Staten Island. If you have any questions specifically about houses, I do market statistics and things like that, 
or if you want to get more acquainted with the real estate market overall in Staten Island, you can reach out to me via the email, text, or phone. The information is going on the screen right now for you. And also, if you're thinking about skipping over Staten Island and going to New Jersey, this channel is the right channel for you as well. I go out every week and give you as much information as possibly I can that I think you'd benefit from all about real estate. So make sure to subscribe to this channel and I will see you on the next video.